Hello everybody, I'm Strategist Primus, and we're back with another episode of the Heathen Horde. Sorry about the uh, issues with the recording of this series and getting it out to you guys on time. It is relatively difficult to uh, convince it to just work for me these days. We have a bit of a problem at the moment, namely our demence is too large. I'm going to go try to solve this by looking for the right kind of people to give land to. He's crap. Not bad because he has a high learning. The reason why I like the dude with the high learning here is because he'll be a decent priest. It's not really uh, essential for what we're doing, but we are trying to convert a lot of land. So I think I'm going to give him um, Cumberland and North uh, Northumberland just to sort of hold the north for us. Hell, I might even make him a Jarl of Northumberland. I think I will. We lose the Dunholm, which I do like. And I am trying to convert at the moment. Mm, no, it's not making my Jarl. Not yet. Oh no, I have too many held duchies. Make him a Jarl. Fine. I don't care. Do do. And adding commanders because that's just what life is. You know you're playing a paradox game when you have to add 30 million commanders every 20 minutes. <clears throat> We're still leading troops, so we don't want to do that. We're going to resign from that. And hopefully we can get over this nasty bout of consumption. Else we're going to have another new king. Erekir here is actually worthy of almost being called a commander. Which probably means he'll be called a commander in this one. Yep. It's not the Game of Thrones one. What type of holding? Stratford and Chester, right. Stafford. Oh, I could fix that up. Orc. Need more money. Well, there's only one way to get more money these days. I'll do it. Quite nicely. Yes, very much the point of this series is to stay as pagan as possible for as long as possible and try really, really hard to um, continue this trend. So, our sudden heir here has turned out to be an idolizer, fussy and playful, also known as he's crap. Um, this kid's not gonna command ever. Um, that's just not good. His focus could be an intrigue, uh, as he has both playful and fussy, so that's a double b bonus. Uh, but it's raw stats. He's raw stat better better at stewardship. Um. No, let's make an intrigue focus. That'll be amusing. So at long last, we don't have a warrior king. I, I feel cheated. <laughs> okay. Mary is on it. No. Not Game of Thrones. We're not doing this. Um, I'm tempted. Although that's his cousin. The problem with remaining Norse for a very long time is you begin to run out of... Uh, people you can marry into frequently and it's not get inbred which is a terrible trait to have alrighty we have our raiders assembled we're gonna go raid Marseille they're Christian right yep let's get them Nottingham is stealing things. Very good. Ah, he's successfully taken Somerset off of Wessex. Going to make our internal borders a little bit messy, but honestly, not too bad of a problem. 
Hopefully he gives off these temple and city titles. They should, but I find that they don't more often than they try to. And we've lost our goatee. Great! It's not like I was using him for anything. Clearly not. No intention of actually proselytizing anywhere. Yeah, right, sure. Okay, back to the good business of uh, spreading the word of Odin. Hmm, okay. Come on, let's take this thing. My vassal is dead. That's not good. Who's it now? Oh dear. He's not happy with me, because he's a powerful vassal, he's not on the council. That's going to be a bit of a problem. I need a spy master. He will be excellent. And I'm sadly going to have to hand it off to a less than amazing marshal. And, but he's, he's, he's not bad. And he gives Hala back for being a decent commander. For when I don't want to be bothered commanding my troops, which happens from time to time. Which, considering I have consumption at the moment, I might want to uh, rest. There we go. That was a good plan right there. It is terrible to die of illness this young. And let's just do that. She's not very good at anything, and he's moderately decent and under a vassal of mine, apparently, but eh, we'll get him out of the way. If he asks for money, I'm kicking his ass. Aha! Consumption kills most people, but, well, you know, we feel fine. Good bit of bed rest right there, and we're back to the field. Ah, good. We have loyal supporters in the... Which faction are you? One moment. I feel silly. The court faction is in approval of us and our paying us. It's good to be king. You get money. Uh, ooh, this one's actually going to be good, because she's perspective, perceptive, not perspective, blah, and shrewd, which is a bunch of plus around a whole pile of different categories. We should give her a focus, give me a moment, I think it's intrigue, yeah, it's intrigue, on that, such that she'll, uh, be amazing. Um... So I could go for, uh, she deserves greatness, go for it. She's not related to me, but I'm going to go for it anyway. And we're going to arrange a patrol between her and a son of mine for the down of the line of secession. Braggy, maybe? 14, 7, no, that doesn't work. Uh, 9, 14 isn't bad. Uh, throw the will work, I suppose. Yes, she's not really in anybody, but at the same time, we're uh, going to be very quickly running out of good pagan girls. Uh, that's just the fact of uh, our religious group being rather small, me not wanting to really deal with the politics of other pagan groups over here, and just generally not giving a shit. These guys, however, have risen up as adventurers over in the east, and that could spread the religion, which is quite nice considering we lost the group of Norsemen who are actually from Russia, and they've now ended up down here. I just noticed that. It's quite nice. The uh, Khazars are still Jewish, and they're still propagating hilariously large amounts of Judaism all over the place. That's interesting. Sorry, I'm just taking a look at this map for a moment here, because I'm intrigued. You're still Tengri. And you're not even a revolution, you, you, that is the Kingdom of Hungary right there. Bulgaria seems to be the larger kingdom, as it's eaten up all of its neighbors and things, like it often does. Uh, Kiev is doing decently well, it's just, they're Slavs now. As opposed to, you know, oh, he converted. Hmm, assholes. Um, and you're Slavs. Right. Come on, guys. There goes all the ruse. So that basically means that uh, 
the Nordic world is Iceland, which is barely populated. Scandinavia, which is going to have a bit of a problem pretty soon, as these parts, I can imagine, are going to become uh, Catholic pretty soon, or Chalcedonian, then Catholic, depending on how many years they take. And, uh, well, the land that's ours that we're busily trying to convert and build up enough of an actual population. And the pack of our cousins who seem to be the rulers at the moment. Meaning, if we continue on the Nordic path, we're probably going to start seeing some inbreeding. Sooner rather than later. That's something I want to avoid, just because it's a minus across the board on a whole bunch of things. And I generally wouldn't appreciate that. That being said, if we get lucky, we might be able to uh, build up enough groups of people and put them into strong enough positions where they will actually build a larger pagan state. I don't know yet. I'm kind of hoping the Carlovingian Empire disbands pretty soon. Considering this guy is still uncrowned, means the Pope isn't his friend. I don't know. Mm, do nothing for the moment. Uh, I'm busy. Give me the prestige. And excellent sacrifices to Odin. I have gained the trait of Viking. Good for me. Hey. It's almost like this series is based around being a Viking. Strange. And we're going to assault this holding a little bit. Knowing more of this god? No, we do not tolerate his kind here. No, 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 no. I'm not being converted that easily. Not yet, at least. Oh, good. We, we butchered yet another bush of... I don't want to think about how many of this is. If somebody's kept a count, just, just let me know. <laughs> More sacrifices, woohoo. Jeez, the blots just continue. Gala has become a brilliant strategist. Uh, is it bad that she's better than my son's probably going to be? Oh, jeez, okay. And we should go a raiding over in Wales now. Let's get the Chester. Actually, go to Jorvik, just to make sure the bonus goes to Jorvik. And then we'll muddle around the rest. Oh, that event doesn't occur unless I'm on boats, apparently. That's annoying. Raise these men. Raise those men. And give me them. Put them together. Because I suspect the Welsh have... Yeah, a few men. And let's get the boats up. Because why not? In case it's not enough boats. The reason why I'm putting the boats up is because I rather do like to have the event that uh, is influx of loot, because it makes your uh, territory just slightly better. And what we're doing right now is trying to steal enough money to make our lands decent. Basically. Who the fuck? Uh, there's a right Galway. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> like, there's a pagan in Wales? What madness is this? <laughs> Let's go raiding Guid. Uh, defenders are crap as usual. It's the Welsh. What do you expect? Uh, casually shitting on the Welsh. Um, <laughs> they just don't do a very good job of holding on to Wales in CK2. I'm sorry. I need a court physician because he died. Righto. Scrolly scroll, and that dude, Barry the Northumbria, who's leading troops in Devon at the moment, wants to be on the council. Sadly, I can't make him a seer, because he's not actually a goatee. That's a problem. I've got to fix that. After Appleby here is actually becoming a meh clerk. No, no, he's not any good. Somebody got burned alive. Oh, Wessex doing things. Silly Wessex. I'm going to declare war on you. Oh, right now. Oh. Okay. 
We'll complete this rating and go back to Claren Horn Wessex. Also known as the point of the channel. <laughs> Uh, how can I ever reward you? Because, man, I do not want to piss everyone off. Not yet. He's an herbalist. Cool little trade. Set him to doing diplomatic things. Tonight, I have to sacrifice to Olden. We got one. We got a prince. That makes me happy. Now this old man's in charge, and he's celibate, so that means it's definitely going to this dude, unless he ends up dead, and in case it's going to one of his sons, or, you know, no one. <laughs> yeah, actually, no one. Excellent. Just casually causing mayhem in Wales. It wouldn't be an episode unless we were causing mayhem, right? Blow up a trade post. Ah, we find a loyal servant in raiding whales. Where else do you find them? Elgi. Ah, the Quit Faction likes us. We already knew that. Now they really like us. I could hire her. Yeah, I have no other choice. Great. Sacrifice Odin, because why not? And set this one to administrating my realm. You're not terrible, but you are kind of shit. So I'm going to go over here and see if there's anyone worse than them. And of course there is. And we're going to fix that. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. The tunes he lit. I hope that was... Shit. hate when that happens. Stop paying attention for a minute and then just boom out of nowhere. Straight out of nowhere. And let's get over there. I think we still got them. Uh, no longer proud. Check some again. We have the hill. And a thousand men incoming. Come on, hold on. Hold on, you bastards. Hold the line. Oh, we got them. We don't even need those thousand men. Well, we need them to keep writing, but, you know, details. And we... We won the day. Good. We did lose a lot of men, though. So we're going to, uh... Read that thing, and then get the hell out of here. Oh, no. Svenhilda has contracted syphilis. I don't have syphilis. Which of these kids are mine? Oh, boy. I also like how practically none of her genetic traits got passed on. Except for, what, the fourth son? Yeah, of course. Typical. <sighs> uh, let's, let's try to nurse her back to health. Um, just because we really... Could, uh, we need a claim, and I'm pretty sure this is an alliance. Oh, it's not. I'm going to make this an alliance because I do not want the Carl Lynchens coming for us yet. I'm not ready. <laughs> My body is not ready for that. It will not be fun. Form that alliance, and there we go. Plus that mustache. We have to be friends. <laughs> it's interesting that we, we no longer have the the sick musty that uh, Goofried had. We're, we're, you know, the progression of losing facial hair here is uh, terrifying. Next dude's probably going to be bald. Wait, half time might be bald. Shit. We have the cue ball king. Okay. Declaring War in Wessex is always fun. Ah, Truce Breaker. When is it over? 8th of November, 06. Oh, there might not even be a Wessex left. How about you? Oh, right, threatening. I love that mechanic, said no one. 
I understand why they put it there. There's just so many better ways to do it. They didn't. So, come on, guys. Paradox, you're better than this. <laughs> My only real complaint is in the fact that we know that Paradox is better than this. <laughs> come on. Just, just fix this. Um, we're busily fixing up uh, the tribal error. I'm going to invite Marshall. Great hunt. Good. You need an edumacation focus. Well, you're pretty shit at everything. You're going to be Marshall because you have more points in it. Deal with it. Uh, why? Just continuously forming a alliance because, uh, screw that. <laughs> he probably wants my piece of Sweden, or Vinkenland, as I should be saying, but it, it's Sweden. Uh, go fuck yourself. Alright, my daughter. <laughs> Is somebody actually good at something? I am tempted, sorely tempted, to uh, marry her off to the petty king of uh, Carnuva, way over here in Bulgaria. The problem is he'll never actually come to, and, and save us because he's way over there. But at the same time, it would be awesome. Um, that being said, the Yaw of Moray would be about the same thing, other than he's under me already. So... It's not necessary. Uh, this is one of those ones where I sit here and go, I mean, the logical choice is to marry her off to Severker, uh, the all of Moray, and say, yeah, we're done. Um, but it'd be awesome to have a tie into New Blood over here. And that would give us opportunities to... to Go fight further afield issues. Like the damn Byzantines. And Bulgarians and things. And Russians. It's way out of our interest. That being said, I'm doing it. Largely because she's 16, she's only my half sister, and quite frankly, we want to, you know, keep marriage alliances on the table. wonderful thing called inbreeding. It sneaks up on you. Every damn time. Um, where is offer vassalization? You're not at peace. Who are you at war with? Uh, you're getting more whales. I'll accept that. But we're getting him under us. Oh. Okay. So, that didn't do much. Gunning's going after you. And this dude's being an asshole. Good. Uncovered a rumor considering, concerning a rare artifact. Let's do it. You shall have the money. Because we're drowning in hacks over. And she pocketed it. Um, yeah, you're going straight to jail. You stole my money. I don't like people, especially my steward, who steals my money. There's only one clear answer for this. I can banish her and get nothing back. I can execute her, and because she doesn't matter, I get the pleasure of killing her. Killed in an elaborate hunt by King Halfdan of Jorvik. Did I just Ramsey Bolton? Oh boy. That's good to know. We're holding up a lot because tis the season and we have Christians. Speaking of, we also have a non Christian here uh, who I'm just going to banish. No, I can't do that. We're going to ransom him, as I recall. He didn't do anything too offensive. He's a minor thane. 
Now for the human sacrifice. Uh, another bishop down. And a monk down. I love those sounds effects. I, I just want them on loop. Uh, let the celebrations begin. <laughs> and at the party, we've learned that this dude's gotten slightly better at life, which, he's the guy we got for free with the feeding bitch, so I don't mind. I'll marry, her off, marry him off to this frail weakling of a yingling who's probably a demon worshipper, but I don't care. And he's misbehaving at feasts. Uh, that happened. Um, she has claims to things, like the petty kingdom of Ustet. Mm. Uslandet. Sorry. I could use that. Because clearly I need to go be kings of things not in Britain. As well as kings of Britain. I need this back badly. We have an alliance, though, don't we? No, we don't even have a non-aggression pack. That's interesting. Could have sworn we had something better. I'm gonna go with Thrift, just cuz. And go over to this dude. Oh, boy. Um... I'm gonna go for Marshall, but... He's not that great at it. I can go for Diplomacy, and he's... Actually kinda good at that, but... Willful cancels out affectionate. Mm, yeah. Uh, intrigue's just not happening. And, uh, that, 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 that leaves us Marshall and hoping. Great decisions. Wessex is still crippled. I'm so glad that happened. And he loses you. And he's probably gonna re lose everything else as well. Dorset. The hilarious thing is I'm going to keep gaining uh, threatening levels from my vassals taking things. Which I do not mind. At least not at present. You're going after Cornwall. Oh, good. I'll make my borders a little bit more pretty. The Earl of Northumberland wishes to state the support of his faction, which is the Glory faction. Kinda wanna be able to appoint him, but I can't. How's he at? Crap. I mean, my current guy's not great. Uh, that's not him, never mind. Oh, he's pure garbage. Great. Let that be a lesson, kids. Don't make uh, goatees into uh, yarls as much as you want to. I didn't have much better choices. So Vinkeland and Yorvik are just sort of spreading into um, Prussia here, which is kind of amusing. Well, not old Prussia. Brandenburg. Well, it's not quite Brandenburg. Pomerania? Pomerania. Yeah, okay. My bad. We're getting the Brandenburg, I'm sure. Die already. I didn't mean him. Just, just to be clear, I, I didn't mean the dude who just killed over dead the minute I said die already. Being said, I, I, I get a new Chancellor out of it, and um, Chester, which I don't want. Chester is... Oh, uh, I, I feel bad now. Chester, Chester, Chester. Chester? Oh, there we go. I forgot they subdivided that. Ah. Much better. The Chester tribe is the current issue. I shall appoint a vassal to that, build another Earth Dam hill fort, and continue going on owning the thing. I'm just eternally building hill forts. I love being king. Wrong button. There we go. Raiding to steal gold to fortify hills. 
that's what it means to be king. Clearly. Anyway, that has been an episode. We've sort of consolidated power, uh, beat, beat up the Welsh, raided some people, made some money, fortified some hills, got better from our consumption, huzzah, and mm, sort of spent some time. It's 905, see, I didn't say 19 that time, and we're doing all right. Uh, the Christian kings in Britain are in peril. Uh, Ethelwolf of Wessex probably won't last very long, and neither will this petty greed, even though they might win this little skirmish with Shrewsbury. It doesn't matter. We're coming. Anyway, I'm still waiting for Threatening to take down. I will see you all next time.